I've had quite a few questions and emails concerning doing the transmission on the Honda HRX217. People have said, oh, I changed my transmission out, I followed the instructions, now it won't roll backwards. In this video, I'm going to show you what we're going to do to get that fixed. A couple of the tools you're going to need are an 8mm socket, a 14mm socket, a ratchet, and a pair of snap ring pliers. If you don't have those, you'll need a pair of needle nose pliers and a small screwdriver. I've said it many times before, if you've got the ability to use a cordless impact, do it. It's so much faster. So let me show you how to get this thing apart. Take our 14 millimeter socket, remove the bolt holding our wheel on. You then have a very thin bent wave washer that keeps tension. Any flat, slightly thicker washer. Next, you're going to grab your snap ring pliers and you're going to remove the snap ring right here. Once you've removed the snap ring, there's a thick washer or spacer. Right there. There's your drive gear that ratchets. You want to make sure, look at the direction that came off, okay? The flats of these cutouts are facing the back of the machine. If you orient it towards the top, the flat faces the back of the machine. You do not want to turn it around and have the flats facing the front. This is why, one of the reasons why, the machine won't go backwards. The other reason is this right here. That half moon, that round, has got to be facing down. At this point, all you need to do is make sure that those components are in the correct order. Now, if you want to take this off, this is where the 8 millimeter socket comes in. You might have dirt and debris and such in the back here, so I'll show you how to get that off real quick. There's another large thick spacer that will come off. Then, right inside here, you can just see it, there's another snap ring. Get that second snap ring off. And then there's a thin washer right there. The only thing you have left to do after that is take off this 8 millimeter nut. Then your cover's off. This right here is your adjuster. So we'll put our cover back on. We've got our debris out, we've got everything cleaned out. Now one of the things you want to make sure is right inside that slot, right there, is a spring. Make sure that spring is in there. And then the assemblies is just the reverse. Take our 8mm bolt. When you go to reassemble these things, about the only time I will use a uh, impact is putting the wheel on everything else out properly. Just put it on by hand with a ratchet. Okay, we then put our thin washer on. We'll get our snap ring. Put our 
snap ring on all the way to the back. Make sure it's seated, check it, see if it's in the groove. Then we'll take the thicker spacer, we'll put that on. Then we take our ratchet key. We slip our ratchet key into the slot like so. Now you can get a tip of your pliers right here. Remember the orientation. The flats facing the back. Slip that on. Sometimes you gotta... There we go. Slip our large spacer back on. Take our snap ring and put it on. Make sure it's in the groove. We then put our straight thick washer on. Don't forget our wave washer. Take our wheel. Okay, after we've made sure it's flush, it's engaging, we get this bolt on here. Now again, you do not have to use an impact. You can just as easily use a ratchet. Hold your wheel, get your 14 millimeter on there, snug that thing down. Now, we'll see if it rolls backwards. Make sure to check both sides. The wheels move forward and backward freely. So if you've done the axle transmission on your Honda HRX 217, or really pretty much any of your Honda lawnmowers that have that type of transmission, and it won't roll backwards. Check your ratcheting keys, make sure the round side is down. Check your gears, make sure the flat edges, if you hold, there's three slots on it. If you hold one of the slots where it's upright, the flat edge has to be facing the back of the mower. Okay, thanks for spending a little time. I hope this answers some questions on your Honda mower. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, Feel free to leave them down below. Until the next video, thank you.